Hi guys, I haven't shared with you uh, trickster tales for quite a while. Now I want to share with you the story the hare and the baboon. Hare and baboon and a whole lot of other animals were working in the field. They had been working in this field all day and hare was getting tired and needed to catch a nap. But knowing hare he did not want the rest of the animals to know that he needed to catch a nap or he was planning to catch a nap. So, he skimmed a little plan. Ouch! I got a phone stuck in my hand! <sighs> ah. The other animals told him, they felt sorry for him and told him he better pull the phone out and wash that hand before it got infected. That was exactly what he wanted to hear. So he hurried off to look for a, sh a shady spot to catch a nap. He came to a well, an old well. And at that old well, hanging at the top, was a bucket and down at the bottom of the well was another bucket. He looked at the bucket at the top and said to himself, wow, that's a nice place to catch a nap. So he hopped into that bucket. Now, he was heavier than the bucket filled with water at the bottom of the well. When he jumped into that bucket at the top, it plummeted right down to the bottom. Hair hung onto the sides of the bucket as, as the second bucket whipped past him on its way to the top, splashing water all over him. Hair had never been so scared his whole life. Hair's bucket landed in the water. It bopped up and down and hair lay there afraid to move in case the bucket tipped over and landed him in the water. He sat there still wondering what would happen next. Meanwhile, Baboon had been watching hair all day. When hair said he had a phone stuck in his hand, Baboon knew hair was telling pokies he was lying. And when hair hurried off, Baboon followed him secretly. So he went to investigate. He peered into the well. It was deep and dark. And finally, he shouted, Hey, what are you doing down there? Hey, picked up it once. He knew that was his chance to get out of the well. There's a lot of gold down here. Come and help me carry it. Hey, shouted. Baboon, that was the invitation he had been waiting for. How do I get down there? Baboon asked. And he knew that if Baboon jumped onto the bucket at the top, because he was heavier than he, that bucket at the top would come down fast. While his bucket goes up. So yeah, he said, jump into the bucket. And Baboon jumped into the bucket and it plummeted down. Down to the bottom. And he met her about halfway down. Her who was clinging onto the sides of the bucket because it was moving so fast. And while they met, they passed each other. 
he shouted. Goodbye, baboon, as the saying goes. Some folks go up and some folks go down. And you, baboon, you are going down.